let us see few more example on this spatial relation first let us see about the top and bottom relation for example let me consider this few pictures so if you see in the first picture you can observe that the bird is sitting on the top of the tree right yes and in the second picture the monkey is sitting at the top of the pillar and on the third picture you can see that the fire is touching at the bottom of a pot and on the fourth picture you can see that the owl is at the bottom of the pot so likewise you can see the spatial relation between the top and bottom similarly let's see the spatial relation between on and under now let us consider few more pictures for this as well so in the first picture you can see that the television is on the table and in the second picture you can see that the photograph is on the wall and in the third picture you can see that the dog is under the table and on the fourth picture you can see that the river is flowing under the bridge so you got to know the relation right students so likewise we can use the spatial relation between the on and under now similarly let's see the spatial relation for inside and outside now look at this picture so what you can observe here the fruits are inside the basket and the leaves are outside the basket got it yes similarly let's see the spatial relation for above and below now look at this picture so you can see that the circus artist is holding the rod above his head whereas a girl is watching from below and finally let's see the spatial relation for near and far so look at this picture you can observe that the mother is near the child and the moon is far away from the child so likewise we can use this spatial relation words and this is about the lesson spatial understanding